Hey air signs, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is going to be your uh, reading for this week. So let's jump on in. We're going to take a look at your side and then like the person that you're dealing with. So who are we stalking through tarot? Whoever is trying to bring you down, don't let them. Now, ah. Seems like to me, like, uh, some of you guys would really like to move forward passionately, but the movement's very stagnant. But I do see that you would like to message this person to create growth in a connection that you had a falling out of. Um, your mind's not really at rest with this. <clears throat> But I can see you sending a text or something like that, or a phone call. Because uh, you're trying to, because you know your emotions for this person. Um, I see you, because we do have the King of Cups here, so you're very emotional when it comes to this person. It didn't work out in the past, and, uh, looks like you haven't made the decision to move on. Oh, that's understandable. That's okay. So, we're not, I mean, everything's pretty much duality in this world, and, um, that's... That's okay. You know, keep your mind clear. Now, let's see what's going on with your person, uh, air signs. This person still has a lot of passion for you. Um, they think you're a pretty person. They feel very passionate about you. Um, they may feel as if this isn't really over. You definitely see it as over. But uh, I feel as if this person has really lost control of unhappiness this person is really sad they would they're mad about not having a reconciliation in the past um they're really feeling the mind is pretty much addicted to thinking about what happened and it's like they can't really move on their mind's not at a happy place right now 
it seems to me like this person can't really focus on themselves because they're too they're too worried about you but you do want to go in passionately but not all in you're keeping yourself uh, held back but you do have love for this person they have passion for you so got water and fire let's see what else your heart broken we do have uh, the Three of Swords here. Guess I'll bring that out. I can see this person really trying to get you out of their head, but the thing is, is their mind is addicted to you. They do feel strength and courage too. Neither of your minds are at ease. Um, you're willing to reach out to this person. <laughs> they do have the Queen of Wands in the reverse with the King of Wands upright. So they're taking on anger and sadness. Let's see some more of your person. Air signs person. Strength card again. They're trying to grow the strength to uh, move on, but it's really hard for this person right now. Um, you seem to have scared them off pretty quickly. Something scared them off quickly. I really feel like they scared themselves off. Really. That's that's what I'm that's what I'm seriously getting. They have a lot of cards that popped out. Wow. They still feel emotionally connected to you. They do want to come toward you, but they're trying to make a decision on how to approach you. They don't know how to approach you right now. They see you as uh, their only option. It's either you or no relationships at all with anybody else because they don't really see. They still have this facade that. You guys are together, but you're not. Um, I do see you coming in with a little bit of uh, playful, caring messages. You know, maybe cracking a joke to try and help this person. They really do want a reunion with you. They do want a reconciliation. There is uh, some third party energy here. Um, I'd say the mind got in the way. But, you know, it could, third party energy could be anything. The third energy can be anything. But somebody. I don't know. You're going to tell this person something to help cheer them up. Uh, this could have been a work person. Some of you, a weird fetish got in the way. It was very weird. Let's see some more of your energy.
Whatever you're doing is going to take a lot of stress off of your mind. If you feel is right to do so, then do so. You do want to move on to calmer waters. Uh, you do want to calm things down, clear the air. You want the both of you. You, I see you as there for this person. You didn't want to be involved in a love triangle, so you left. You're worried about resources right now. You're in your head about this too, about the ending. Something tells me that you left this person, but you're coming back around. Because you want to see if this person is correct now. Although you didn't really see a long-term commitment with this person. You guys had a falling out of a, a long-term relationship. But you're manifesting this. They're going to get the reunion. Because they still feel emotional toward you. They still feel like, you know, that they can kind of feel... That you guys still have a love connection. So. We're going to see y'all's connecting energies. Uh, the mutual energies. the both of you how are they both feeling oh logical with a uh, important message popped into your head both of y'all's heads I do see a serious conversation to be had with this person. Something that they were very worried about, but you're gonna, you know... I feel like you're gonna spill your heart out to this person. <laughs> You guys are going to talk about the issues that you guys had. Um, wow. Okay. Because there was, uh, some, just quite a bit of deception. The full card. Yeah. Let's see what else. You're just gonna, I guess, take a leap of faith. You guys are gonna be speaking some harsh truth, I feel like. You're getting straight to the meat of the matter quite quickly with this conversation. <laughs> You guys have been holding this conversation back for the longest. And it seems like you guys are making the decision just to kind of like... This conversation is really going to uh, cause this tower moment. In 
there is a decision to be made. A wise decision to be made. What is this decision? Oh, to be more nurturing to the connection. But I see this person traveling to you as well. You guys may go out and talk somewhere. For some of you, it is uh, through text because it is a little bit too heartbreaking for you to actually call that person. Some of you, it is uh, calling this person, but you are going to reach out to them. I'm feeling that. I do want to see the outcome. I do want to see the outcome, though. Where is it going to lead to? The Prince of Crystal Lasers. You guys are still going to be talking for a while. But it's going to be conflict, uh, this um, thing that's coming in for the both of you at the same time. That's the mutual energy that I'm getting for you guys. Is that there actually is going to be conflict here. I'm feeling like uh, it's something that's going to, uh, that needs to happen. The conversation may uh, cause a shakeup. So, but you are coming towards them. You are. I do see you guys having a leap of faith again. But there is a confession here. Um. I don't feel like uh, you're scared to do this. You know that this is going to be healthier for the relationship. Um, but they don't know how to take and handle how you truly feel about the situation. It's going to make them feel pretty bad. Okay? You put them in their place. They're telling you everything that uh, you needed to know. Everything's coming out. Something tells me that this was no secret. Uh, the truth comes out. This is actually going to be healing. I don't see you guys... Uh, I, I don't see you guys really leaving this connection. I feel like you guys are already together, but there's just... And if you guys weren't together... You guys are coming back, but there is going to be conflict. Um, but it's really going to clear the air and bring a lot of clarity to the both of you. And uh, you might actually feel a lot better after this confession. This person still has love for you. You still have a lot of uh, love for them. There's still passion between the both of you. But you caught them. And... Uh, they're trying to swallow their pride here. So there you go, air signs. That is your reading for this week. <laughs>